Hi, I'm Gina Michelle from Alama Massage and Body Work, and I am talking to you from my living room. I wanted to share with you a shamanic movement meditation that I learned about 20 years ago from the teachers of Sacred Lomi, Tom Cochran and, Tom, and Donna Jason. And um, I think it's a very simple movement as, as soon as you get um, the hang of it. And um, I use it right now when I'm feeling like I need to um, reoccupy the space in my body, my energetic space, my bubble, and uh, to um, clear my mind, um, maybe clear out the chakras or the energy centers, and, um, and just kind of reset. So um, I'm going to back up so that you can see me uh, more full body and um, I have, first I'm going to start with the arms, okay? So the arms are going to have an embracing and a releasing movement. So the first way it's going to embrace, we're not actually contacting our chest, but we're just kind of sweeping across and I can, I'm doing a diagonal and I'm releasing. So switching my right hand now is sweeping over my heart space and I'm releasing. So sweeping and releasing. Embrace, sweep over the heart space and release. Embrace, sweep over the heart space and release. Embrace, sweep over the heart space and release. So when we're thinking about how what we're embracing or gathering and releasing, just think about how you're feeling in the moment. So is this embracing all your tension and releasing it? Is it embracing all the frustration and releasing it? Is it embracing all the worry and releasing it? So we're just cleansing and using our body and our movement and our intention all together to release. And it's very powerful, especially if you are able to focus on it. And by the way, you don't have to have a perfect space for this. I'm in my living room. I have my cat wandering around. There's Legos off to the side. So just find a space that, uh, that you can create a space and occupy it with intention, okay? So that those are the arms. Now for the legs, I'll scoot back a little bit more so you can see my feet. So I'm going to start, take a step back with my right, cross forward with the left, and stepping forward with my right. Take a step back, cross, take a step upward. So it's different from a do -si do where if you would do, just be moving across, and off to the side. I'm stepping back, crossing, and kind of shaping into a V. Take a step back, cross, and forward. Take a step back, cross, and forward. Okay, so those are the two movements. With the movement, we include our breath. So as we're gathering or breathing in, releasing, breathing out. So I'm gonna start with my hands together and my feet grounded. Take a step back with my right, opening up. I'm gonna cross leg, cross arms, stepping forward, release. Step back, cross forward, release. Step back, cross forward, release. Taking a step back, cross forward, release. Back, forward, release. Back, forward, release. Step back, cross, step forward, release. Back, cross, and release. Back, cross, and release. Keep going, now bring your breath in. Breathe like you mean it gathering and you mean to release it. By the way, it doesn't have to be all negative at, um, emotions. We can gather the love and all the intention that we want to make this living situation work. Now that we're all in isolation, gather your good intentions and release them into the space. Keep 
doing this with me. You can have a very light and fluid movement. Kind of like a dancer movement. You can also be very deliberate. Like I need to clear. I need to be certain. So pick whichever strength of movement or flow of movement you want. Relaxing, having a sense of softness in your arms, even if you are going very strong and deliberate with your hands. Your knees have a nice soft bend. Last, if you can let go of your head so that your spine can soften too. So I'm gonna talk with you while you're flying. It's called flying. This movement that we're doing in the Hawaiian philosophy, our future is behind us because we can't see behind us. But the shamanic way, we always find ways to get around things. So if we sweep our hand from the back and scoop some of the future in front of us just to see what's back there. What can we see? Little tidbits. Sweeping some of the future so that we can see it in our present moment. That's old Hawaiian philosophy and for me, it works. Where I can feel what I need to do in my present moment. Not that I'm a fortune teller, but it's, a, it's an idea of what do I do with this moment now? This moment. And coming back to stillness. Close your eyes if you can. If you're out of balance, keep your eyes open. And just sense into what you're feeling. Your heart is probably beating faster. Maybe you feel a little bit warmer. You might even have some starting to sweat a little bit. Pay attention to your feet now. What's happening with your feet? Feels different, I would imagine. Feels different for me. I feel like I'm rooted into my floor a little bit better now. So pay attention to your back body, what it feels like back there. Feels like there's a little bit more blood flowing for me. I feel like I'm energized back there. Less tension, less like a turtle shell. So I'm more open and not hardened to protect myself. So that means I'm open to what I'm able to receive in my living space. And then finally, what's happening in the front? Um, generally, I feel so open. Um, there are some variations that you can do with this type of flying movement. You can open up chakras. So the original is to open up the heart, but you can also bring into the third chakra, sweeping and opening up, releasing from your third chakra, which is your world as you know it, as it is. Going down lower, second chakra, reproductive organs, relating to other people, relationships, anything to gather and release from there, you can intend, you can bring your arms lower. When you go lower, you're bending your knees. Your stability or your foundation, root chakra, below where your perineum is, your um, pelvic floor, that area, 
I can imagine lots of people are reconfiguring their foundation now. And so if you need to empty, flow, free some stagnant energy, worry, that can go as well. Coming back up to the heart space, I originally taught you. Throat space is communication. What are you having a hard time speaking? What are you having a hard time speaking in your truth? What's happening for you, your feelings? You can intend to clear that area. Your third eye, center of self here, being able to be inward, introspective. If you're having a hard time with finding a moment for yourself, you can clear that as well. And then up top, now you can just kind of wing this one. It's kind of hard to cross, but it is kind of like an aura sweep with the intention of gathering and releasing. Gathering and releasing. Okay, so go. that's a variation that you can do. The original is taking a step back, cross forward, release. Step back, cross, forward, release. Back, cross, back, cross, back, cross, back, cross. Originally, we would fly for several minutes. Um, I remember flying for almost 35 minutes to 45 minutes. Um, so you can fly for a long time. It can be a um, aerobic choice for you instead of running or biking if you can't go outside. And um, feel free to drop me a line on the comments below. Let me know how it goes, what you feel, what you experience. Okay, so that's it for now. Enjoy your weekend and I will chat with you soon. Bye-bye.